Connie from MechanicalHub.com here with Dave Hansen, the U.S. Boiler Booth. Dave, this is what all the buzz at the 2014 AHR show is, up, is all about, right? Tell me more about what you got here. Yes, this is our next generation modulating condensing boiler. What we really wanted to do when we conceived of this boiler, we interviewed our current customers for Alpine. We interviewed uh, customers that weren't buying from us. We really wanted to find out what we needed to do to make it right. We really want to claim that this is the boiler designed by customers and contractors. So the K2 boiler has a Sage control, just like the Alpine, has an updated heat exchanger, is that correct? I'm glad you brought that up because uh, one of the most important things that people told us and in, in the input they gave us was that they really wanted that to have a solid, not only a solid product, but a solid heat exchanger. It's a stainless steel based heat exchanger with a composite frame. So tell me what's going on here. So the Sage control is combined with our display which has also been a highlight of our boilers along the way, allowing you to make easy adjustments to speed installations. Now we can see the new combination composite and stainless steel heat exchanger. Now I, I want to point out though, you just touched that, that burner door there. If this boiler were under full fire, you could do the exact same thing. Really? Which really helps uh, contractors as they want to speed and get into the, into the box to do their work. What are some of the other features that are going to make this better and, or an easier installation for a contractor than what they might be used to? One of the things they, they mentioned to us was they really wanted to ease the wiring. We've included an integral junction box here. We're putting the uh, high voltage and the low voltage connections on opposite sides of the box to make it easy and very clear for anybody who wants to do the wiring. These are fused uh, connections here too. The Alpine has been the modulating workhorse for us, really popular boiler, yep. great play in the marketplace. But we're never satisfied, we're making some great changes. Uh -huh. The first change for us is a smart zone panel that communicates with our control on this boiler. A couple of cool things about the zone panel, it's programmable. So if I had small zones, I can literally lock in the firing rate on the zone panel. Really? I have a master bedroom that only needs 40,000 BTUs. I can program that zone to max fire at 40,000 BTUs, and that's what the boiler modulates to. Really? So great heating uh, savings, energy savings, great comfort. The other cool thing is the zone panel communicates to the control just with an RJ45 plug. Really? No more wiring for a plumber. Just take the yellow cable, plug them in, and they're communicating, and you're all done. This so is a separate component from the Alpine boiler. It correct? is a separate component. It's not required for use, but it is available for the contractor coming sometime this summer. It's coming this summer. It'll be ready for next heating season. Um, patent pending. There's some cool functionality in here that nobody in the world has. Awesome. Uh, so we've tried to make a real powerful, easy box for the plumbers to use. U.S. Boiler Company's bread and butter, cast iron boilers. This is the ES2 series boiler. Why don't you tell me all about it? ES2 is an 85% efficient cast iron chimney vented boiler. We've added a ton of features to this boiler. Outdoor reset, big value package. People can save an additional 12 to 15% while wow. installing an outdoor reset on a boiler. We make it so simple for the contractor to install this. It's a little card. Yeah. It plugs right into a board under the jacket. We actually give you a board that has slots for three of these cards for low water cutoff requirements, uh, outdoor reset, auxiliary high limit. It's kind of like having three empty USB ports in your computer. Yeah. And you plug one in, the board recognizes it. If you don't plug it in, it's just an empty board down there. Real simple, but the whole idea is make it simple to install, simple to sell, and simple to service. This IQ boiler does has the IQ control built into it, correct? It does, it does. Um, IQ is, is the platform. We've, we have the cards, we also have a screen. This is an optional screen on the front of it. Uh -huh. We actually make a tool, because a lot of times, contractor doesn't want to sell the screen, because it's a, it's a few extra dollars, but we make a tool for him that has the screen built right into it. Oh, wow. It has all the features. He can plug it right into the harness on the boiler. He can program everything in English put it back in his glove compartment, use it on the next job. If he has a troubleshooting problem, he just pops it back in and, you got and he does diagnostic it. Diagnostic if there. not, all the diagnostics is below, but he has to push a few buttons. So we keep it simple for him with, with a tool. When the consumer says, I don't want a lot of maintenance, I want reliability, this is the product for him.